We are so blessed to have UC Davis Children's Hospital in our community. But you know, Northern California is a big area with small towns where children face life-threatening emergencies too. Well, now the specialists at UC Davis Children's Hospital can get to them in an instant with telemedicine, and it does save lives. <coughs> Avery was one week old and dying in the emergency room at Sonora Regional Medical Center. She got really sick really fast. A transport team was on the way to rush her to UC Davis Children's Hospital, but they wouldn't arrive for two more hours. Her breathing was really labored and she was cold to touch. In the Sonora Emergency Room, Dr. Donald Dudley needed a pediatric specialist now, so he switched on the telemedicine cart. This was actually the first time I had happened to use it. Dr. Francis Poulain, a pediatric neonatologist at UC Davis Children's Hospital, appeared in the emergency room in Sonora in just minutes, not in person, but through telemedicine. So I could ask him, what do you hear? What do you feel when you examine the patient? And he was giving all that information. Dr. Poulain could do almost everything except touch the patient, but he didn't need to do that to diagnose the problem. So the hunch that I had that this might be a heart disease, which is very peculiar to that age group, uh, was confirmed very quickly. To have a set of eyes that knew what they were looking at just from so far away, made us feel in such a very scary moment a little bit more comfortable. Dr. Poulain in Sacramento and doctors in Sonora, connected by telemedicine, worked together for more than two hours to save Avery. So I could see that the therapy that we had uh, initiated was starting to take effect. So it was very gratifying. But there's no question that it made a dramatic difference in our ability to, in a real-time fashion, manage the patient. Many doctors are skeptical about the benefits of telemedicine, but there is no doubt in the minds of these doctors, telemedicine saved the life of this baby girl. Avery would not be around. She would have died that day. I was extremely thankful that we had it. But any hospital that doesn't have it or they're on the fence deciding whether to get it or not, it's definitely a great investment. If it's, I always say if it saves one life, it's worth it. So It saved our daughter's life, absolutely. Yeah. And surely it will help to save many more. 25 emergency rooms and eight neonatal ICUs in Northern California are part of the UC Davis Children's Telemedicine Network. In fact, their pediatric telemed program, it's the biggest in the entire country. Now, Avery, as you heard, is alive and well, and her story has made believers out of people who were skeptical about telemedicine, even skeptics at UC Davis Children's Hospital. One more thing about that story that I found was so incredible. Dr. Poulain had just arrived home after putting in a full day at work when he got the emergency call that his help was needed at the Sonora Regional Medical Center. Center. So at home, on his laptop, he sat there at a desk for the next two and a half hours, saving the life of wow. Avery. I mean, that's working from home. People like that just amaze me. It's a secure network, yep. but with a laptop and a camera, he was able to log on from home. Already put in a full day at work, and now he's at home in the evening, and he's saving a baby's life 100 miles away. Just such dedicated people over there. That's why we're so proud to partner for this tomorrow. So please tune in starting at 4.30 a.m. for the Children's Miracle Network Telethon. 